So as an isolated form, at the moment, the nature of a small modular, you know, smaller scale, it's not really viable. But if you factor in how much you might need to rebuild the grid with renewables, if the other option is putting nuclear where some of the coal-fired power plants are, that's where you get a sort of comparison in terms of cost? Is that, is that the claim? We wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't argue that, uh, that it is uh, not viable. In fact, it is viable uh, at a global level. In the 2028, we'll see GE bring a small modular reactor into the United States. There are already SMRs um, appearing on order books as we speak. Mm. So at a global level, uh, that's occurring. And in Australia, we now need to open up the discussion. Mm. We've had submarines uh, pass um, and we're going to see support for, for submarines. That right. is an industry that will build new... But when we see stuff like this, we have the initial price tag and then the real one. My point is they're not out there right now operating in a market having proved themselves commercially viable. There might be some estimates, but that's to come. That, that bit still needs to happen. And you'd sense Australia will sit and wait for that to be the case and then possibly build them. All new technologies are expensive. First of kind technologies are always more expensive than what is being suggested. Mm. But we see examples of that everywhere and then costs come down. We saw yeah. it with renewables. Well, yeah, well, that's we'll the hope. But, but what I said is, is right, right? There's nothing, there's not a small modular reactor right now in a market proving cost efficient as is. There might be some forecasts but it hasn't happened yet. I wouldn't say forecasts. When you're actually doing line-by-line line estimates and you've got something on your order books, so a company willing to take that next step, mm. then that means that we're going to see first of kind on the ground by 2028. All right. And there's real potential. Would coal mining communities potentially back them in their community? That's the other big equation. People say who wants one, which electorate wants one. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We need to see the prohibition lifted. That allows the discussion mm. to occur and then, then communities can come forward with their interest in uh, nuclear energy. Right, but that would make sense in terms of the grid, wouldn't it? And, and maybe it's more appealing because jobs might be exiting those communities with the coal mines? Well, these are not very big plants, small modular reactors. They're no bigger than a football field in terms of their entire um, uh, span. So it makes sense for what is already in place. Uh, Coal-fired power, uh, coal power uh, plants are an ideal place to put a nuclear facility because you okay. can use that existing infrastructure.